Hey, it's me, OG Duffy, and uh, a week off work this week, so uh, I'm travelling to Chatham today. The boy's got an appointment there, so I'm going to do a bit of game hunting. Let's see what I can get, because I usually do all right when I come to Chatham, so uh, rock and roll, on we go. <laughs> I start this game hunting video in Chatham, Kent uh, by looking in some charity shops. Now, those that watch the channel regularly will know charity shops just of late have been very, very dry indeed. Do let me know in the comments, is it the same where you are? Uh, either that or they seem to be very overpriced in the games quite a bit. I've found some games here, um, but it's the usual old tat, look, your FIFAs, and, and I mean, how many copies of FIFA must they sell, honestly? Uh, it seems to be the only sort of real title I end up finding, to be fair. Um, always look on the, uh, the, the film shelves, because quite often one might get sneaked in there, a little game, you know? Um, it's always worth a little hunt through there. Quite liked him, the little Superman meerkat, thought he was quite sexy. But uh, here we go. Some more films, but again, all very, very dry on the video game front. Um, there was something in here, and I think we come to it shortly. Here we go. Yeah, just over here. Earthworm Jim there. Look, as you can see, Earthworm Jim, that was a Windows CD. And then there was that. A pop Idol for the PS2, I believe. Obviously both coverless and both worth nothing, really. Absolute junk. Then I got a little bit excited because in the corner of the same charity shop was this glass cabinet. But as you can see here, the games that were under lock and key were absolutely awful, shoddy titles really. So is it just me or is your charity shops in your area doing the same and locking up any sort of video games because they think they're all worth an absolute fortune? I mean, look, you've got Madden Eye Toy titles like that. Oh. Shame, really, real shame. But hey ho, onwards and upwards. Over with the charity shops, and this is the cash converters or crack converters, as it's become known. Now, I don't mind these stores, you know, they're a bit hit and miss, um, but there was a very good range in the Chatham branch, so all in all, well worth a visit. Um, lack of Wii U titles, which is a shame, but hey ho. Beggars cannot be choosers and all that. Uh, now, there are some good retro titles and stuff they had, and they kept them behind the counter. So I'll show you a photo of that at the end of this lot. Um, a decent PS2 range, but no real standout titles, I'm afraid. Um, there was some, I've, I've got a few bargains from this store, though, to be fair. Um, but there was no sort of title that was really standout, and uh, they are priced, ac are priced accordingly, you know. But let's be honest here, um, getting bargain games out in the wild now is becoming a very difficult task indeed. But we've got to keep hunting people. So uh, the Wii section here, Resident Evil Chronicles, uh, Dark Side Chronicles, got that already. And Ghost Squad just checked out the price on that's one ninety nine, and CEX are charging £2. So quite similar pricing overall, I would imagine they look at each other's systems maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, looked at the Wii U titles here, nothing special, I mean Wii U Party there was a tenner, I've got all of them titles, so nothing of major uh, excitement for me, I'm afraid. But you've got to keep looking, because hey them Wii U titles, ah oh, mate, I've got to get them all, got to get them all. A bit like Pokemon, but they're starting to prove a bit costly. Um, Teletubbies there, £1.99, and uh, Tomb Raider 2. Thought that was overpriced myself, they went at 9 99 I know you can pick that up in CX for about six, seven quid, so uh, quite a big difference there. Finally, behind the counter in the cash converters, we have these items here. So let's zoom in first on the left and take a look at them items there. This here, standout price really, of Banjo-Kazooie on the N64, 14 96 Now I know CEX are charging £28 for that, so that was a very good price. Then to the other side of the shelf, which was like your Mega Drive games here, and uh, Rastan for example was £15 in here, and I know it's about £20 in CX, so that's a good saving. But Mortal Kombat's the opposite, I mean in here it's £20 and in CX it's 15 so swings and roundabouts really between these two stores. But um, it's good to have this on the, super, uh, on, on the high street, you know, because uh, it gives us another option guys, and uh, they do knock down their prices as well. If something doesn't sell, I've noticed that they do knock it down. Uh, that Banjo-Kazooie being an excellent um, example. 
now onto the CEX shop. Um, nice Zelda Amiga, uh, Amiibo there, or should I say Link. Um, PS3, very clean one, that was the old fat version. Wasn't the backward compatible version, though I did look. Um, I do like this CEX. I always think they have a really good range, and I mean, just pause the video if you want to check out the prices of any of this stuff. You know, some of it is ridiculous prices, but you know, it is CEX. But they always have a really, really good stock level. Um, so I know there's lots of you to collect all different things. So just do pause away and, and check out the prices. Um, displayed quite nicely as well in here. You know. Um, big stack there of uh, loose carts just sort of stacked there I assume they were only getting around to sort of just sorting the display out there uh, they had a bit of a problem in the shop which I'll come to at my pickups at the very end for you guys all right and I'll tell you what the issue was wasn't good for them let's just put it that way um, there you go look at the old SNK pocket there uh, 80 pounds that was unboxed um, but a really nice range in here and uh, like I say I always enjoy coming into this branch so uh, a big up to the guys at CEX in Chatham really you do a great job guys um, project one way there how we do a game about uh, walking up and down the uh, the runway of a, uh, a fashion show is beyond me but hey I'm sure something for everyone you know <laughs> just not me um, plenty of Wii games in just plenty of games full stop um, always have a look through the Wii games um, especially with the shooters I've got a few shooters now that I want to play and I could do a little video of them when I get round to it so keep your eyes peeled for that one folks I'll do that in the near future now I've noticed in the last few CEX shops I've gone into quite a few GameCube games I mean and there was quite a few in here as well I mean it's been a bit dry of late but there's just lately there seems to be a bit of a quite a few more um, GameCube titles being released out on in in the wild so to speak Knight Rider PS2 anyone ever played this I remember kit the car but I can't say I remember playing the game very much um, but like I say I can't big up this branch enough it's really good so well done Chatham great stuff so she's got them games from there, um, CEX, what a comp oh, compilation I picked up there. So a quick pint before we get on to the shack to show you what I've got. So cheers, folks. Happy days. That was the Chatham trip. Now, I have to admit, when I go to Chatham, um, which isn't very often, I do enjoy the old game hunts there, because uh, I'll tell you what, the, 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 uh, the cash converters or crack converters and uh, the CEX shop, are pretty cool, you know what I mean? And I do like the CEX in Chatham. Uh, I've got a few pickups here, which we're going to go through. Um, and uh, all in all, really good. But first off, when I got into CEX a bit later on, the poor buggers in there, I'll tell you what, they had their work cut out today. The systems were all down. So they weren't able to do any trade-ins or anything like that. And uh, all the items I bought, they had to hand write every single title and uh, the price, and oh, I just felt awful for them, you know what I mean? The system's down, been down all day, it hadn't even come on this morning. So they literally have to physically work everything out, so it was taking an age in there. But we got there in the end. So let's go first to my crack converters, or cash converter pickups. Okay, uh, three PS3 and one Wii game. Okay. A PS3, I keep saying this, these games are cheap as chips and they are quality titles. That system still looks amazing graphically, it really does. Uh, Doom 3, 99 pence. These are all complete, I can assure you they're all complete. Okay, manuals, etc. 99p. I don't know what that goes for on CEX or anything, but for 99p, mate, I'm not complaining at that one. Now next up, another 99p game, Bioshock Infinite. I remember playing some PC back in the day, and I loved the graphics on this. They were just so colourful and bright, and just, they amazed me. They really did, for the time. And Bioshock 2. Uh, this was also 99p. All three of them titles, 99p, complete. You can't go wrong for that, can you? Honestly, 99 pence. And then I've got this, 50p, this one, right? And it is Trauma Center, New Blood on the Nintendo Wii. Um, is it, I think this is on me doing a bit of surgery and all that. I've got a trauma game already, but for 50 pence, I'm not going to leave that sitting there, you know what I mean? I thought, that, that's a good title. That's really nice condition as well, that one. I wouldn't say it's been played. What's that just fell out of it? We've got a, what? A little, oh, it's the 50p sticker fell out of it. Yeah, okay. 
So anyway, so that concludes what I've got in the uh, the um, the cash converters channel. Then I got into the CEX shop. I had um, I had my son with me, and he went and looked at these for me. Right, but they're not for me. These aren't for me. These are the UMD video discs for the uh, the Play PSP. Now. Uh, I've got a brother who, who loves old films and films generally. The crappier the film, the better. He just loves it. And uh, he collects these. He doesn't collect them. He just watches them all on his little device when he goes to bed. So we picked these up because they were 75p and one was 50p. So Sin City. Sin City, a great graphic novel, crime noir. Uh, that was 75p. Uh, Night in the Museum, Ben Stiller, 75 pence. Didn't mind that film actually when I watched it all them years ago. It wasn't too bad. Now I've never seen this, but little OG, this is one of his favourite films of all time. And it is Kingdom of Heaven. Kingdom of Heaven. And that was 75 pence. And the final one I got in was Dodgeball. Grab like by the balls. And that was uh, 50 pence, that one. I'll be honest, right? Dodgeball. Can't go wrong with a bit of Dodgeball, can you? I remember watching the uh, the actual film. When it first came out in the cinema, I mean, this is when I'm really enjoyable, thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, if you can catch spanners, you can catch balls. You see spanners, and not just the one thing that stuck with me. And then CEX, the pickups I got for myself. Let's go through a few, bit, bit of everything in here, really. Uh, I got this Super Fruit Fall. It's a puzzle game. It was 75p. Nintendo Wii, again, complete, because obviously. As you know, I do buy complete games when I'm in there. 75p, puzzle. I do enjoy puzzle games. I thought, for 75 pence, I'm not going to complain at that, am I? Right? Now, a Capcom game. You know me and me, Capcom. Uh, this was uh, £1.50, PS3. Lost World, or Lost Planet 2. Lost Planet 2. I really did think I had this when I was going through the shelves and stuff. But... Uh, I looked at me, the app that I use that keeps a note of me, uh, me games, and I could see I didn't have this. So this will be going up on the PS3 shelf pretty soon. I do like them PS3 titles. Now this, right, again, another one I thought I had, Crazy Taxi. I know I've got this up in the loft there, and I know I've got this on Sega Dreamcast. I'm sure I've got this on Dreamcast, but I've got it on PS2. And for £4, hey, you know what I mean? It's, it's a great game, isn't it, Crazy Taxi? Crazy Taxi! I've got fond memories of that one. Remember really enjoying that back in the day. Has it held up? Will it be as good now? Now this one here, I've already got this. This is Dead Rising 2, but this one's off the record. So it's a slight variant. I do believe you can play as a different character uh, in the game. And for £2.50, it's a Capcom game. They're classics, aren't they, Dead Rising games, you know? Uh, and I thought this one would just be a nice little addition, really. Off the record, Dead Rising. Huge zombie outbreak hits Fortune City. Mate, them zombies, don't they get everywhere? What we do about zombies in our life, mate? The film companies and TV companies, we have to come up with something new, wouldn't they? Uh, got this one here. Uh, this is Horizon 2, or Risen 2, Dark Waters. Three quid. Don't know anything about this, but I looked at it and I thought, well, that looks a bit piratey. And I do like my old pirate games and that, so I thought, you know, instruction book and all that, characters and stuff, so I think that might be a good little game to have a run out on. Because as you know now, now the game's really set up and I'll do games in a month. I've got a few titles I'm going to start playing every single month. Uh, this, okay. Summoner 2, £3 on the PS2, Summoner 2. Now, as the guy was writing all the titles down and it's CEX and it's taking you forever, we were having a good chat because he was a Metallica fan and he was a bit of a metalhead. So uh, we were having a good old chat. Uh, and he said, oh, I never knew there was a Summoner 2. He said, I remember playing the first one. Um... He said, did you ever finish the first one? I says, no. I said, I'm not sure if I even played it, to be fair. And he said, no, it's really good. He said, and um, he said it ended, he thinks, with the, the main character getting his arm chopped off and becoming a god or something. So, hey, Summoner 2. He didn't know it existed, but I got it. Now, I picked this one up out of intrigue more than anything. Uh, £2.50, The Bureau, XCOM declassified now it has this funky sleeve on it quite if that's the original sleeve or not i don't know but i'm imagining it would be because it's declassified so i'm assuming they've sort of shown where they've had to uh, eradicate some information maybe uh call the shots pull the trigger erase the truth hey i remember the XCOM games and i've got XCOM on the ps3 uh and i know it was on earlier systems than that but i remember playing it and uh, it was a good little game so this is obviously a spin-off title of that. 
Uh, don't know anything about that one. So, could be an interesting one, that. The Bureau. And then finally, a Wii U tile. You know me and my Wii U. And this is complete. It's just a, a little Minecraft booklet there in it. Um, and obviously, of course, the disc. Now, this is Minecraft, the story mode, the complete adventure. £18, that one. £18. But I need it to go off the collection. So let's go and add it to the collection now. So as you know, I'm keeping them alphabetical. I've got loads more to get yet. I am. I would love a full Wii U set, but you know what? Them heavy eating titles are getting silly, silly money. So if a recession is around the corner, then might be the time to you know, come in. Anyway, Minecraft Story Edition. Uh, so, obviously, M. So we're coming up there. I'm going to have to move another one of them down and make some room. I've got two copies of planes now on, on Wii U. I've got a couple of, a few doubles appearing. So I'm going to have to start trading some of them out or swapping with people or whatever. But anyway, let's go. Minecraft. So there you go. That's the original Minecraft there. So we'll put the story mode in just next to it. So it sits between the original Minecraft and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Anyway, that concludes this uh, game trip to Chatham, the game hunt. Obviously, charity shops will bear, but hey, that's becoming quite the norm now, isn't it? Shame, really. It really is a shame. Uh, but hey, Crack Converters was good. Always worth a visit. And uh, CEX obviously speaks for itself, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Love it or hate it. Where would be without it? That's the question we need to ask. Anyway, I've been OG Duffy. You guys have been awesome. Hey, check out that video or that video. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Put a smile on my face. Make me a happy man. Laters.